Early on in my preaching ministry, I had the opportunity to speak at an old established church in a growing, thriving community. As the pastor shared with me their history of how they had managed the changing church dynamics, uh, their Christian school and their community, he lamented that the neighborhood had grown up around them, leaving the church landlocked on a tiny parcel of ground, not even an acre. The church had passed up an earlier opportunity to purchase a very large acreage for only $150,000. At the time, they couldn't see how they would raise the money. But as a result, the church was unable to grow in relation to their own needs and the needs of their community. The school eventually dwindled and ultimately closed. Young families went elsewhere, and the church reduced to only a handful of faithful elderly folk. The pastor said to me, if only we had bought that land, things would certainly be different now. Obviously, that conversation impacted me. I remember thinking, if I ever pastor a church, God helping me, I want to lead the people to trust God and move forward. In February of 1979, seven people attended the first service of Ann Arbor Baptist Church in the living room of John Burt's home. The church quickly grew, meeting at the YMCA and then a small daycare. From the beginning, God blessed this church with youth, young families, and lots of kids made up the backbone of this church. Subsequently, 40 acres of property were purchased in the fall of 93, and by April of 95, the first service was held in our new building. Growth continued, and the much needed fellowship hall and church office wing were built. God has strategically positioned us on Ann Arbor's growing west side with 40 acres at our disposal. The community is expanding out to us, and we have room to grow with the increasing ministry demands. Gratefully, we're not in the same position as that little church I spoke about. We're in a prime position. But will we move forward by faith? In the short time that I've been here as pastor, God has continued to bring in young families with kids. Praise God, they are everywhere. Although we have a beautiful fellowship hall, we only have two small classrooms in the entire building. Logistical hurdles are the theme of literally every ministry discussion we have. It is time to build again to meet the growing needs of our church and community. Here at Ann Arbor Baptist Church, our guiding principles are to exalt Christ, advance His church, nurture families, and engage the world. It's our belief that a building project will greatly aid us in this fourfold mission. Our goal is ultimately to be a church planning hub from which Michigan, the Great Lakes states, and even beyond are seated with Baptist churches. To do this, we need a strong base where we're able to nurture our own. Currently, our ever-growing kids' ministries lack adequate space to learn and to hold activities. The nursery, hallways, and the lobby area are often overcrowded. Our goal is to expand our facility in three phases, allowing greater potential for growth and development of the home front. Phase one consists of a gymnasium that will connect with the rest of the building. This will allow us to have the most multifunctional space first. Parking would also be increased. Phase two is a new secure education wing with classrooms, nurseries, an indoor play area adjoining the gym, and a check-in area. Phase three would expand the lobby area and hallways, allowing a more inviting atmosphere for our guests. Beyond these three phases, we prayerfully plan to develop the rest of the property with missionary housing, walking trails, ball fields, and a picnic shelter. So how can you help? Well, we need prayer and we need funds. Though it may sound insurmountable to raise the millions of dollars necessary, we believe that God has led us this far and that he has poised us for the next steps in this journey of faith. Phase one alone will cost in excess of two and a half million dollars. But this is more doable than you might think. If each household participates to the giving level that God enables them, the money will be raised. God is able. Information for your tax-deductible gift is on your screen. Will you pray with us about what God would have you to do? Years from now, let's not be in the position to talk about what could have been. By the grace of God, may it be obvious what God has done and what He's continuing to do. Let's join together and walk by faith as we embrace the exciting opportunities that lie ahead of us.